We're here at the photo shoot for What to Cook and How to Cook It, which is a step-by-step -step beginner's cookbook, um, which is being published this fall. Um, and what's great about the book is it's really different from every other beginner's cookbook because we've chosen 100 of the most basic accessible recipes and we've shot every single step of every recipe. So that's not just for beginners, it also shows anyone who wants to increase their repertoire of dishes that they cook every day, that some of the dishes they might think are difficult, like a lemon tart or a boeuf bourguignon, are actually really straightforward when you break them down into steps and see every single stage of the recipe. It just makes it so simple. So today we're making um, frosted cupcakes, um, which are really great. Uh, cupcakes have become a lot more popular over the last few years. They're really easy to do and really easy to impress your friends with. My role as the editor is to make sure that everything's running smoothly, to um, plug in any gaps if anything needs doing, um, and really just to make sure that the finished dish shots which we're ending up with are what we want, that they're the right style, uh, that you can see everything that needs to be shown and that we're happy with the shot. My role on What to Cook um, is to write all the recipes and then to food style all the recipes on the photo shoot. So that involves prepping all the food for every single photograph that you see within the book. The step-by-step -step shoot is quite different to an ordinary food shoot because obviously you're showing everything that happens along the way as you're cooking the dish, so it takes quite a lot longer. You're stopping and starting during the cooking process, so often you have to restart things again for the next, st next step because you've halted that cooking process, so it's not quite as natural, although hopefully when you see it in print, it looks completely natural and it's very, very easy to follow. Often we have to remake food um, for the final shot especially, or between steps because Angela may take a little bit longer to take the picture than you'd ordinarily take in the kitchen to do that step. So for instance with the cupcakes, um, once you add liquid to something like self-raising flour, that self-raising flour starts to activate and starts to produce those bubbles. So the cupcakes have been on the set for a couple of minutes, I knew that they weren't going to rise perfectly for my finished shot, so I made them twice. That happens quite often. Well basically you have to shoot quickly the food actually tends to not go off, it tends to get cold and congeal. I mean, initially you end up looking, you look at the food that's about to be photographed um, and you also have to look at the props and the backgrounds that it's going to sit on. And also you have to think about the colour that it's going on as well because certain foods look better on certain colours and certain backgrounds. So, say for example, a meaty stew looks better on like a paler oatmealy background or white as opposed to sort of green or blue. Um, it's a 10 week shoot, we're covering 100 recipes. It's been quite intense, quite hard to keep to the schedule, but actually we've managed to. Overall, it's been really good, working with a good team, getting to eat some good food, and learning a little bit about food as well at the same time. 